Good morning, Pirates. Today is Friday, December 20th. I'm Matthew Krupa. And I'm Dimitri Melhaus. Each week, members of the staff identify students who have exemplified the ideals of the target attribute of the month. From that group of students, we select one every Friday to receive a gift card to the student store. The winners this month are Grace Collar, who was nominated by Mr. Keston, Harry Ramos, who was nominated by Mrs. Arbelez, Isabella Morgan, who was nominated by Mrs. Schweitzer. The monthly winner was Josh Byram, who was nominated by Miss Arnie. Please come up to the gift card. Please come up to the main office to receive your gift card. The Buccaneer yearbook is now on sale for $90 plus $7 for additional name stamping. Name, stamp name stamping is only available until January 3rd. See Miss Maroff in B224 and Mr. Icon in B123 if you're interested. The talent show will be held on Thursday, January 17th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $8 for adults, $5 for students, and kids under 5 are free. All proceeds go towards the purchase of a shelter box, which provides temporary shelter in the event of a disaster. Please consider preparing an act over the break. Taping will be held Monday, January 14th after school. Please stay tuned for further information. This week, Mrs. Schweitzer brings us Today in History. Take a look. Good morning, Pirates. Today is Friday, December 20th. On this day in history, in 1803, France transferred the Louisiana Territory to the United States, an epical action that nearly doubled the size of the fledgling nation. President Thomas Jefferson instructed James Monroe to offer a maximum of $10 million for the valuable, strategically located port of New Orleans and lands to the east. French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte was eager to stick it to the British and unload France's North American lands after losing the sugar-rich island Saint-Domingue, present-day Haiti, to a successful slave uprising. Napoleon offered New Orleans and a vast area west for $15 million, roughly 828,000 square miles at the bargain rate of about three cents an acre. President Jefferson, Mr. Strict Constructionist, feared that the federal government had no constitutional authority to buy foreign land. The Constitution did, however, grant the Senate the authority to make treaties with foreign nations, an idea Jefferson's advisors convinced him to embrace. The Louisiana Purchase set a precedent of acquisition of new territory and peoples through treaty, a pattern that continued and also posed the controversial question of whether slavery should be allowed to spread to newly acquired lands. I'm Mrs. Schweitzer, and this has been Today in History. What a deal. Where would we be without the Louisiana Territories? Hey, Dimitri, you got something on your head there. You did too. That's a nice hat you got there. Yeah, I got it for a pretty good price. It was only $18. Wow, that's a bargain. Yeah. All the proceeds go to help fund the junior prom. Do you know where our fellow classmates can get it? Miss Carol and Mr. Mack. They both have order forms for us. Hey, Matt, have you ever wondered what our teachers think, what, what our teachers' favorite sports team is? Actually, I do all the time. Take a look on this week's edition of Ask the Staff. Each week, we ask the staff a different question. This week, we asked, what is your favorite sports team? Let's take a look. My favorite sports team is the Eagles. Uh, the Eagles. The Eagles. Uh, definitely the Eagles. Eagles. The Eagles, just because they get me more ramped up. Mm. I don't really watch sports, but I would say Eagles. <laughs> it got to go with it, it got it one team. It has to be the Eagles. Uh, fill up the Eagles. 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 Go Birds. Uh, the Eagles and the Phillies. The Phillies. Probably the Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies. Uh, Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies, but a very 1A is Philadelphia Flyers. The Flyers. The Flyers. It's the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, the Philadelphia Flyers. Duke Lacrosse. <laughs> Look at Montreal Canadiens. Any Philadelphia sports team, really. Can't make one. The Sixers. Sixers. Um, I'll go with the Sixers. 
I was raised a Giants fan, and I'm still a Giants fan. The cast of Hamilton. Cleveland Indians. Yankees. Chelsea. Uh, I, don't, I don't watch team sports. What are sports? <laughs> Personally, my favorite team is the Cowboys. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Kevin. Every day, there are adults in this building who do wonderful things for their students. If you feel someone has either helped you, guided you, assisted you, or simply stands out, here is your opportunity to recognize them. Nominate them for a Golden Apple Award. The nomination forms can be found across from the library next to the gold nomination box along the wall. See Mrs. Leeds or go to into, onto the CHS website. Thank you. And now a special holiday message from Sarah. <sighs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell them. From all of us at CHS TV, happy holidays. Thanks, Thanks Sarah. Sarah. If you have any comments or concerns, email us at cinemasintv at gmail.com. From all of us here at CHS TV, we would like to wish you a happy holidays and a happy new year. Stay safe, stay warm, and tune in next year for another exciting edition for, of CHS TV. Yeah, and then she fell down the stairs. It was so funny. What are you still doing here? It's over. Go to class. No one important. <laughs>